So, um, the reason for this video is because there's a bit of a conf well, there seems to be a lot of confusion around the Magnesium Red Sea Pro test kit, uh, and I've I went around YouTube forums, general internet searches, and found various bits of information that I ended up needing to know. Um, and they weren't sort of all in the same video. Red Sea have got a seven year old video on their channel. There's a couple of other guys that have also done some videos on the magnesium test kit, but they don't all cover the, the issues that I've had with this. So if you're here, you might be in the same boat that I was. So I, I've done a video, because hopefully this will probably help someone um, that has just bought them, maybe you're struggling, or you, you think you might be doing them wrong. So the um, the first the first issue that I found was the color change when you're doing when you're in phase three dropping the titration um, the color changes quite a few times it goes purple it goes blue then purple and blue then purple and it seems to seems to keep changing back now some people have said on a for on uh, on ultimate reef that they don't notice a change back um, which I felt a bit confusing so I, went, I even went back to the manual and even in the manual it says the colour will change back from blue to purple, so even the manual says it will change back. So the key is understanding when you should take it and, uh, and obviously getting the process right. Um, so the, the other thing I found was a bit confusing was the actual instructions themselves, uh, because the card, uh, after you've done the second phase of dropping the five consecutive drops of B, it says to shake it for 60 seconds. Now that is in fact wrong. Um, because the guy in the Red Sea video confirms, and they've also confirmed on a comment I asked them, that you you put in your five drops of B, shake it for 10 seconds or so so it's mixed, and then you leave it for 60 seconds. So this 60 seconds you see there is actually you just leave it, not you carry on shaking. So that's another thing that's a bit ambiguous and incorrect with the card that a lot of people seem to get wrong. The other thing is the a lot of people say, oh, do you really need to shake between each drop of A? Because you do your five drops and shake. Um, it seems they do seem to stress or oh, the emphasis on doing this test to the letter. So uh, people have done tests where they don't bother shaking at all in between each drop. They just drop, 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 and then shake it for a bit, then go on to B. Uh, but they do seem to say the the mixing between each drop. So you might as well. Although it's a bit more aggro, follow the instructions to the letter and then you're going to at least have more faith that you're getting it right. So I've already got my two mil of water to go uh, and I'm going to obviously, sh the, 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 main, uh, the main point is to get the colour change, picking up the colour change right. So um, with your A, you want to be careful as well that you don't get the crappy half bubbles. Full, full drop. Now you can see that you start getting some residue building up on the vial, and something's precipitating out there. I'm not actually at a chemical level. I'm not sure what's going on. It probably is quite easy to find out, but I'm not really that interested. Um, they do say actually the magnesium test does require cleaning after every test because that because that can affect future results. So now, onto your five drops of B. One, two, three, four, five. So, again, this is where the instructions are rather ambiguous because you do not stir or shake for 60 seconds like the card says. Red C confirm, you just give it a mix. That's, that's a, probably a pretty good mix. And then you leave it for 60 seconds. It's handy depending on how good you are you're counting. I just get a stopwatch going on the phone, set it off, and away you go. Meanwhile, you can be getting your syringe filled up for your last phase of the, of the uh, So I'm not going to go on about the where the plunger should be because everyone knows the answer to that. Um, stick it in. 
Right, so I've still got, after doing that, I've still got 15 seconds left. Um, there were points when I was doing this, I was literally dropping off straight away, just dropping titration straight away, but as I say, Red Sea are adamant that you leave it 60 seconds. So we're just coming up on that now, and then we'll start going. So, the, the, again, the manual, you might not have read it, but it does say you can drop the first 0.4 mil of titration straight into the vial. So we've done that, and then you can start dropping. Now another thing I've noticed on the Red Sea video is that from the moment he starts the third phase with the titration C, is that he takes about a minute before he gets to the end point. So another thing that a lot of people might be doing is rushing. So you want to go as slow as they do in the video, ideally, if you're having any worries that you're getting it wrong. So it's a drop and a shake and a drop and a shake. Currently I'm at 25 seconds and I'm already noticing a colour change. I'm just going to slow down a little bit. And then what the key is, see that's definitely going a darker purple now. We're up to 40 seconds on the test. Another drop. So it's going purple. See that's definitely purple now but obviously you keep going. And the idea is you keep going until you first see the blue and that is the first that is blue okay and we are at just over seven used it's probably 7.2 don't know what this is talking about yet so it's 14.40 um, so there we go but you will see the camera might not pick it up you can see already it's already moving away from that blue and another 10 seconds or so, it will go, it will go purpley, almost like the colour. Oh, well, there you go. You can see it's very similar to the lid of B, which is a purpley colour. So you, you take that, you stop when you first see the whole thing change blue. You don't keep going, because that now has definitely gone purple. Now, you can, if you keep going, that's going to go blue again. And again, I was making that mistake, and that will give you a ridiculously high magnesium reading. So by all means, comment. Uh, let me know if you think that this is way off. But... From what I've read from the various forums, internet threads, and Red, what Red Sea have told me, that's the way you get the test done. Do your 15 seconds between each of, uh, drop of A, and then wait 60 seconds after you've done B, and then with this, you just you, you drop your, point, your first point four, you keep going fairly slowly until you get blue for the first time, then you stop. Some people might have had, found that was all very obvious, but as I said, the instructions aren't right. The manual says some of it, but not all of it. And the YouTube video confirms the stuff that isn't in either. So uh, I've also got a Salafert test kit, which is obviously cheaper, uh, a little bit less aggro than this. And yesterday I did a, a test and um, amazingly, actually, they both came up, they both came up uh, with exactly the same result. So that was actually quite reassuring, but uh, I'm pretty sure the way I've just done that is exactly how it should be. So. Uh, let me know what you think and um, I'll probably be doing a calcium one as well uh, that's got a few little discrepancies in but nothing major. Cheers.